All right, these toys are really starting to stack up. So I'm going to try to bang out a few reviews. So before you watch these videos and you start to wonder, does this guy ever change his shirt? Well, yeah, but sometimes I still wear it a couple days in a row. But that's not the case this time. Either way, I'm really digging this Dark Crystal line. Let's start with these. Just get a quick look at these packages because I think they actually did a pretty decent job. It's just not an old school blister, but I really like the artwork on it a lot, so I thought that was pretty cool. And not to mention, these things are really easy to open. Here's the back of the package, it shows the rest of the ones that I don't have yet, but hopefully, I will soon. Either way, enough about this package, let's get these things open. All right, let's take a look at these. I already did a review on this guy, so you can look that up if you want. This is San Diego Comic Con exclusive over here. And these are the little build a figure or build a crystal. It, one of each comes in these, so you definitely need to get the whole set because this, cr this crystal is very important in this set. It's basically the whole movie. So, right here, this was like the bad guy in the, in the movie. This was the villain. He's basically just a big solid piece of plastic, not a whole lot of articulation. Basically, just his arms move and his head move that is it but they're kind of going for a vintage classic look with these toys which I definitely like I really think they're doing a good job on this they did plenty of detail they didn't go overboard they even put a little texture back here on his cape or his robe whatever you want to call it. nice rips on it so he's actually really cool the paint that you did get on this toy is really crisp and really clean like the eyes are pretty much flawless like he actually looks forward doesn't have a lazy eye so that's definitely nice. The sword, the sculpt and the paint on that sword, it, it's spot on. It really couldn't be any better. So I'm really digging this toy. This is like the little witch in the movie. She comes with her little Ouija board deal, which is a really cool accessory. I thought they did a great job on her also. Didn't go overboard on the paint. Just, just enough to kind of give it that classic look. The sculpt is clean. They missed a little paint here back on the robe. Not really a big deal. I think they made up for it on the sculpt. And this movie, like look at the tits on this thing. When you watch this movie with your mom because you probably weren't old enough to watch it without her. And these things used to jiggle around. You would look at your mom like you were doing something wrong. But either way, that's a review. Definitely digging these line, this line. I cannot wait to complete this set for I build a crystal. Thanks for watching.